All right, guys, let's kick this off. We got uh, script and dialogue training. Today is Wednesday, September 7th. And I have some stuff I want to go over, but I also want to get a little survey from you guys um, so we can touch on some of the things that you guys are getting hung up on. So real quickly, guys, if you can go into the chat and type in any objections that you've come across that you are having trouble on how to answer, um, or any, maybe is there a certain part of the presentation, like when you're meeting with the buyer, or meeting with the seller that you have trouble presenting, right? Because this is all about dialogue and scripts and how to like say certain things and be effective when you communicate. So if there's anything that you're having trouble on, a certain objection that you're having trouble getting over, or you just don't feel confident on and you want to practice it today, or if there's anything in your presentation, either buyer presentation or seller presentation, um, that you wanna practice on, any part of that. Please type it in the chat so we can um, address some of those. And then I'll kind of go into one of the ones that I wanna work on. That side. Nobody has an objection that they, they're getting stuck on? Or anything they want to practice? Because if you guys don't have any objections that you're getting stuck on, that's cool. I'm just going to start calling some out and just put people on the spot and see how you handle it. That means you're ready to go. <laughs> It's got to be one that you, there you go. There we go. See some, I see some. And keep in mind, guys, this is time to practice also, right? So even if it's like, all right, I think I got this down, but I still want to just practice it a couple times because I'd rather practice it on you guys than practice it on the, a client. This is a, this is what I like to refer to as rehearsal. So uh, some of you guys don't know, but I played in a band for a long time. I played drums. And I played in like rock band, reggae band, stuff like that. And my guitarist, uh, who was kind of the leader of the band, uh, one of the leaders, he had been trained like classically and stuff like that. He performed with like different bands and different, um, different stuff. So he would always tell us like when we would show up to practice um, to our, he would say, Hey, this practice right here, this is our rehearsal, right? This is our rehearsal. This is our time to rehearse as if we're going to play the show tomorrow. So every time, you know, before we had a show, we, you know, practice three or four times at least, but he would say, you don't want to go up there on stage in front of everyone and start practicing right there your, your, your notes or whatever it might be, right? Start fumbling around. Like you want to practice right now when it's okay to mess up, you know, because right now is the time when you can get, you know, get things out of the way. doesn't matter if you mess up. You can get some constructive criticism, get the dust of cobwebs off. This way, when you do jump on the phones or when you're live in front of a client, you already kind of dusted that off and you're warmed up and you're ready to go. So uh, it's, it's just understanding that this is what it's all about. Um, so I got a few that you guys wrote down. Uh, it's not a good time to buy because the market is crashing. Interest rates too high. I'll wait until next year. What if a client wants to lowball? Uh, during the Zillow script, I can't schedule with you because I travel to work. Can you just give me information on the home and I'll let you know if I want to see the home? Okay, cool. These are all good ones. Um, so we'll dive into some of those um, second half of this, but what I wanted to train on today um, is probably what I feel is one of the most important things you can ask a client uh, in person when you're meeting with them or when you're doing a presentation or maybe when you're showing homes. It's probably one of the most important questions you can ask a client. What do you guys think that is? Who wants to take a wild guess on what I feel is probably one of the most important questions that you can ask a client? Does anybody want to guess? I 
I Why know you, guess. Go ahead, what's your guess? Um, are you working with another agent? Okay, that's a good one, definitely. Um, somebody wrote, why are you deciding to buy a home? Why do you wanna buy now? How soon are you ready? What's your motivation? Okay, those are all good ones, guys. And those are all great questions to ask. Um, and you, you should definitely ask all of those questions in your presentation. But I feel one of the most important questions to ask um, anybody in any sort of sales situation is asking them what is important to them. What is important to you, Mr. Client, when buying a home or selling a home? Or what is important to you in the agent that you choose to work with? Along the lines of that, right? Or what are some of the things that are your concerns that you want to make sure I cover that are important to you? And here's why that's important, guys, because what you're essentially doing when you ask a client what is important to you or what's important in the agent you choose to work with or something along the lines where what's important, you are getting the client to tell you what they want to hear. Let me repeat that one more time. When you ask a client what is important to them or what's important in the agent you choose to work with or what are some of your concerns that are important to you that you want to make sure that I cover, you are essentially asking the client, tell me what you want to hear. Does that make sense? Because here's the thing, is a lot of times what's important to you from your own perspective may not be important to the client. And sometimes we may be presenting or we may be like doing our pitch or we, we may be like, we maybe have an angle of how we're trying to attack, you know, this client and win over this client. And you may completely disconnect because you may be talking about the market and the opportunities in the market and the client doesn't care about the market. They're more concerned about being able to afford the home or they're more concerned about being able to trust the agent that they work with or they're more concerned about making sure they do it in a certain amount of time because they have a certain deadline coming up. So if you're pitching what you think is important to them and you're not asking them what's important, you could completely say something that is just irrelevant and you will have a big disconnect from the client, right? So anytime you start a presentation, anytime you meet a client for the first time, Anytime you're trying to like do that rapport building where you're trying to, you know, establish a connection with the client, you have to ask them what is important to them so that you can now tailor your presentation or tailor your pitch to hit on the points that are important to them because it's going to be different for, for everyone. You may have someone that makes a lot of money and they don't really care about the cost of the home right? For them, maybe time is important, making sure you close the deal fast and making sure you get them, you know, something with the view because they don't care how much it costs, but they need a view because they want to wake up to a view every day. And you're talking about like how you can get them a good deal on a home and we'll be able to lowball this home and we can negotiate the price and the terms. And you're just like harping on that. And they're like, in their mind, like, dude, I don't, I don't care about that. Like I got the cash. Like I don't, I don't need a deal. I want what I want. All right. So that's why it's important to really ask that. So what I want to role play today for the first part of this training is I want to role play just you asking those questions. Right. So the scenario that we're going to pose today is either you're just meeting the client, like you just met them at the open house and you're kind of walking through and establishing that rapport, or either you just jumped on, you know, your Zoom presentation and you're about to kind of go into your presentation. And I want you to kind of start off with you know, introducing yourself, letting them know what, what the goal of this presentation is, and then going down the pitch of, hey, before I get started, I really want to understand what's important to you. What are some of the things that you want me to cover? You know, what do you look for in the agent that you choose to work with uh, so that we can make sure we, you know, go over what's important to you? So I want to role play that conversation and give everyone a shot to do it. Uh, I can go first to kind of give you an example. Who would like to be my client? I'll be your client. Who's that first? Uh, Alessandra. Okay, Alessandra. Is this a Zoom, Zoom meeting? 
Yeah, so this is a Zoom meeting. We just jumped on a buyer console and I'm about to start my console and I'm gonna show you like how I break the ice with you and then how I lead into my presentation by asking you kind of the questions, you know, what's important. Okay, so action. Hey, Alessandra, how you doing? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you so much for meeting with me today. I know it's hot outside. I know you're probably busy, but uh, it's, I'm super excited to meet with you. Um, and I know we talked on the phone a little bit about you buying a home and stuff like that. So I wanna go over our buyer consultation today. Um, the goal of my buyer consultation today is really to keep you informed on what's happening in the market. Make sure we discuss your goals. And more importantly, show you how we're going to be able to get you a home as quick as possible and, you know, with the smoothest process. And also, I want to find out what's important to you. So what I want to start off with before I go into my presentation is just really understanding from you, Alessandro, what is important to you um, as you take this journey into buying a home? And also, what's, you know, some of the things that you expect from the agent that you choose to work with and, and what's important to you and the agent that you choose to work with? Freeze. You, you froze, um, Alessandra, so go ahead and answer me. Me too. Uh, what's important to me is I want a good deal in a good neighborhood. Um, what I expect from you is um, I want you to be honest with me and tell me if it's a good deal or not. Got it, got it. Okay, so be responsive because probably like my last agent, I would try to like get a reach of him and I could never get a hold of him. Got it, got it. Okay, thanks for sharing that with me. That's that that definitely lets me know what's important to you. So what I'm hearing you say is you want to make sure you get a good deal, right? So all trying to get the best price and best terms. Uh, it sounds like you want to make sure the home you buy is in a good neighborhood. And then from the agent you choose to work with, you want to make sure that the communication is there, there's responsiveness, you know, there's honesty and integrity. Does that all sound correct? Yes, correct. Okay, great. So as we go through our presentation, I'm going to go ahead and touch on some of those points and I'm going to show you, you know, how we're able to accomplish all that and make sure we get you the best deal possible in the best neighborhood. And I'm also going to show you what we do to keep in touch with our clients so that the, the communication is there and it's open and you feel you know, you feel guided along the way and stuff like that. Does that sound fair? Sounds fair. Thank you, Enrique. Do you guys go over disclosures? <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, we'll stop right there. Uh, so you see guys like from Alessandra, like she told me she wants a good deal. She told me she wants communication, wants honesty. She wants to make sure she gets the home in a good neighborhood. So now what I'm going to do in my presentation is I'm going to make sure I cover those points and I'm going to spend more time on those points. Because now I'll be speaking the language that Alessandra is looking for, right? And if I'm showing her that I'm responsive or showing her what I do to communicate with my clients or showing her how we find her a good deal, then now what I have to offer matches up to what she is looking for. And the chances of me converting her to a client, they go up dramatically, right? Now, the flip side of the coin is let's say like I go into my presentation and I don't talk about getting a good deal. I don't talk about a good neighborhood. I don't talk about how I communicate with clients and how I'm honest with clients. And I just tell them like our track record and let me show you our five-star reviews and you got to talk to my lender and all this stuff. There's going to be a complete disconnect right there. Even though some of those are important things in the overall picture, but if it's not important to Alessandra, it really doesn't matter. You guys get what I'm saying? So to be a good salesperson, right? A better salesperson, a better communicator, you have to listen more and you have to ask more questions so that you can know what you should be focusing on, right? And then you need to make sure that a good thing, like maybe take notes, right? Like if you're not super confident in your presentation, let's say you haven't done the presentation a lot of times, so you don't have it like memorized or internalized, maybe you wanna write those notes down. And then when you're writing them down in front of her, that's going to show her like, hey, you're listening. So if I wrote down, wants a good deal, good neighborhood, communication is important, stuff like that. Alessandra's going to say, well, like, you know, he's actually paying attention. He's listening to what I want. 
And then I can know I, I can go back and hit some of those points when I'm in my presentation. So who would like to role play that now? The same thing I just did, that little intro, who would like to try that? Thomas? Yeah, uh, I'll do it. Okay, who would like to be the, uh, the client? So Thomas is going to be the, the agent and you're going to be the client. I, I can be the client, Kika. Okay, let's go. Okay, so Thomas, the setting is you're just meeting with this client. You're jumping on a Zoom presentation, your buyer consult. You want to kind of do your introduction and then you want to go into asking them what's important questions and then making sure that you, you understand them, they understand you. All right, okay. action. Hi, Jason, thanks. Hold on. You guys may wanna mute somehow, whoever's streaming it, whoever's streaming it on the big screen, um, mute. No. Nope. Is there an echo? All right. I think it's fine now. Hello? Yes. Clear, clear now? Okay. We're good. Hi, Jason. How are you today? Excellent, Thomas. Excellent. Well, great. Nice. Are uh, you enjoying the hot weather? Uh, yeah, trying to stay as cool as possible right now. Yep, that's me. I definitely don't even look outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for joining today. Uh, this is very exciting. I'm going to be um, helping you take the next steps to buying your house. And um, before we get started, just tell me some of the reasons why you want to buy your house now. Um, yeah, well, you know, my, my family's growing, so I definitely want to get into a property um, before my wife has our, our third child. Uh, so I would like to be Congratulations. in a Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we have two right now working on number three. And so would like to be in the new property, you know, before the holiday, before Christmas, if possible. Okay, perfect. And um, so, you know, I perfectly understand. I got three kids myself and uh, you're going to be outnumbered very soon. <laughs> so, so you're saying that you want to get into a house before the holidays so that way you can enjoy it with the family there? Yeah, th that, that'll be ideal, Thomas. I mean, again, I want to, I don't want to, I'm not in a huge rush, right? I don't want to overpay. I, I definitely want to get a good deal in a good neighborhood. Yep. But, you know, the timeline would definitely work towards, you know, before Christmas, so I can spend it with the family there. Okay. Uh, well, we'll definitely get working on uh, getting you in front of some homes to check out. Uh, escrow takes about 30 days to close. So we'll need to definitely be in before around Thanksgiving or before that. So right now, it's important that we get all the information we can right now to help you out, work with the lender, get you pre-approved pre so we can start getting into a home as soon as possible. So um, thanks for sharing with that with me. I really appreciate it. And uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do to uh, finalize the loan. Sounds good. Okay, let's stop right there. Uh, good job, Thomas. I know you asked like, why are you looking to buy a home? But what I want you to do is verbatim ask what is important to you, right? I want those words have to come out of your mouth. What is important to you? What is what is important to you when buying a home or what's important to you in this process or what's important to you in the agent that you choose to work with. Okay. All right. Could you ask, why are you buying a home? So you kind of asked it in a roundabout way, yeah, but I but think not. it's important. I think it's important to actually say the words, what is important to you? Right. Because it, it takes it from like, why are you buying a home to like, Hey, I really want to understand you and why it's important. Right. It makes it a little, a little bigger. So let's try that again. Yeah. Um, 
just get just get to the you know the point like hey you know thanks for showing up like hey you know we're gonna do a buyer consultation before I get started I want to understand what's important to you and then he's gonna tell you and then I want you to repeat it back to him letting him know you understand what's important to him and then how what you're gonna cover in the presentation to address those points okay all right so let's try again let's do it hi Jason hey Thomas Welcome to the Zoom meeting. Hope you're doing well. Doing excellent. Going. Everything's going well, Thomas. How you doing? Good. Enjoying the weather outside? Yeah, trying to stay cool in the house with the AC on, buddy. Oh, that's the best time to enjoy it. I feel, I feel bad for the people that don't have AC. I just can't right now. Yeah, I hear that. Um, before we get started, you know, uh, again, thank you for coming. But I just want to ask you, what what is it that's important to you about buying a home right now? Um, you know, I, I would say the, the timeline is going to be important to me, Thomas. Um, ideally, I would like to be in a property before Christmas so that I can spend that time with my family at the new property. Um, we're having a new baby coming soon. So I would like yeah. to be in cool. the property before then. Yeah. Congratulations on that. Thank you. And uh, is this going to be your first one? No, it's be number three. Number three, awesome. I have three myself, so. Yeah, I'll need some advice from you. Numbered. And uh, also, let me ask, um, what are you looking for with working with an agent? <laughs> uh, well, you know, this is, this is gonna be our first home purchase. So again, I'm just looking for just transparency. Um, obviously, I don't wanna overpay. I wanna get a good deal, uh, but what's, important for me is mainly going to be just someone to be honest with me up front no bs give me exactly you know let me know exactly how it is and then ideally to get me into the property uh before before christmas okay great so what you're looking for is to get uh, a home before christmas to get your you know your growing family that way you can enjoy the holidays and looking for an agent that you can trust work with that's honest and can make sure you're safe and protected so um, thank you for telling me that. I really appreciate it. So what we're going to do is go over the process today. So that way we can get you into that home on time into the holidays. Escrow takes about 30 days to close. So we need to be in probably by um, Thanksgiving or earlier. And we'll go over the whole process. So you, you're pretty comfortable with every step of the way. And I'll let you know, um, you know, anything that comes up. That way it can be full communication. You have my full honesty. I'm, I'm not going to sell you on any homes. I'm just here to consult you, educate you, and let you make the best decision on your own. Sounds good. Sounds cool. good. Stop right there. Let's give it up for Thomas. Very good, bro. That was very good. You see that little tweak right there? The difference between the first time and the second time around? The second time, you, you let in with the important question. You took it in. You repeated it back to him, right? So now he knew that you were, were hearing him. And then I liked how you said in our presentation, you know, we're going to talk about the timeline. And then I'm going to also go over the process so you feel informed. I'm not going to sell you on anything. I'm going to be honest with you, right? So you're repeating back like the things that he said were important to him, right? It, may, it makes it feel like it's going to be easier on where the rest of the meeting is going to go. Exactly. Right. Because then then at that point, you don't have to spend time on certain things that may not be as important. You can maybe uh, shorten certain parts of the presentation if you don't think that's important to him. Right. Uh, and you could spend a little bit more time like for trust and all. Like, how would you prove to someone that they can trust you? Like if, we, if you're just meeting someone for the first time, what, what's something you can do to let them know they can trust you? I let them babysit my kids. <laughs> but what's a tool or a resource that we have that demonstrates trust our reviews. our reviews exactly our reviews right because like if i don't know you and i just met you the way i'm going to establish trust and credibility is hey i'm going to be able to go over our track record our reviews you know i'm going to show you what other clients have had to say about us you know, because trust is very important, right? And then when you're in your presentation, you could spend a little bit more time showing them the reviews, how many reviews we have, how many sales we have, stuff like that. And that's how you'll be able to demonstrate, 
you know, trust, right? Or build some trust there. Um, how can we, if he wants to be in his home in by December, by the holidays, then how would we demonstrate the timeline, right? How would we show him that we're going to get him in, into the house by then? Um, well, we can say first step was is to get pre-approved. So that way, when we submit an offer, we can get that um, closed within 30 days. Um, also, not in this market that we need to get fully underwritten right now anymore, but just talk about, uh, we need to start looking at some homes. Usually a week later, we'll, after the home has been on the market, uh, they'll have an offer due date, maybe two weeks afterwards, but we're also in a market where it's starting to slow down a little bit. And it'd be best to just try to do a preemptive offer before more come in. But for timeline wise, definitely around Thanksgiving is when we should be submitting an offer or even earlier because we might not get the first offer. Got it. So, so Thomas, what I'm hearing you say is you're explaining the timeline basically, right? So if someone has a certain date by which they want to close escrow, mm -hmm. it's going to be important that you break out the calendar and you also walk him through the timeline that it takes to do everything. You can say, Hey, this is the process, right? It's going to take you some time to get pre-approved. It's going to take some time to shop for a home. It's going to take some time to submit offers. And then escrow is, is 30 to 45 days for closing, depending if there's any delays or anything like that. So I would be showing him the calendar and explaining to him the whole process and the steps and then saying, hey, this would be the latest we would probably want to be in contract by so that you can close escrow and be in your property before Christmas time, okay. right? So really going into the steps and the details and, and showing them with the calendar so that visually they can see, okay, I need to make an offer by, you know, before Thanksgiving, right? Or second week of, of November, if I want to be in my property before Christmas, that's the latest. Um, good stuff, guys. So let's, let's go on. We're going we're gonna to role play this a couple of times. Uh, good job, Thomas. Who, else, who wants to go next? Who wants to be the agent? And uh, who, who wants to be the agent first? Who wants to practice this? All right, I'm gonna call on someone. Let's go, let's go. Whoever looks scared, I'm gonna call on you. Alessandra, I'm calling on you. <laughs> okay. All right. Who wants to be the client? Alessandra, just go like this. <laughs> I love it. Go. Tony Robbins. Okay. <laughs> All right. Jessica, you be the client. All right. Same scenario. You just jumped on a Zoom. You're meeting Jessica for the first time, or you guys maybe talked over the phone. You booked the appointment. Now you're meeting her and you're giving her the, the little intro and then you're going to ask her what's important. You're going to you're going to repeat back to her so that you guys understand each other. And then you're going to talk about you're going to show her how you're going to talk about those things in the in the presentation. Hey, Jessica, how are you? Good. How about you? Good. Thank you for asking. It's nice meeting you finally. It's nice meeting you, too. Okay, so before we get started, I want to know a little bit more about you, what's important to you. Uh, I guess what's important to me is I really like to entertain. So I need a big backyard, a big open kitchen, and, um, and probably some rooms, extra rooms for guests. Extra rooms. When you say extra rooms, like how many? I want to say like two two extra from from like the three that we talked previously yes so five rooms total yes perfect so five rooms and the rooms do you want them to be like big like how do you have in mind of like the square feet that you want the rooms or you don't it doesn't matter to you um i would prefer if it has like it, their own bathrooms so like a sweet type of thing. Oh, wow. Nice. I want to live in your household. <laughs> okay, Come visit. 
I definitely will. Okay, perfect. So what I so what I understand is you want a big backyard because you love entertaining people, a big spacious kitchen as well. Do you cook a lot? Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. That's great. Um, and we'll we're gonna go over um, your criteria once after I'm done with our consultation and. Okay, what about the agent? What's important from the agent that you work with? Jessica, and what's what's also important as me being your agent? What what are you expecting from me? Uh, I would like a lot of communication. Um, and like I how my brain works is I tend to think of questions and I forget the next second. So I would like to for you to be able to answer my calls at any time during the day. Okay, perfect. Well, Jessica, just um, a little bit about myself. Every Friday, I check in with my clients. Um, even if I talk to you on Thursday, I, you're going to receive a call from me on Friday. And also, if I don't answer you, I'm pretty good with texting back because sometimes I'm with clients, but just feel free to text me and I'll for sure return your call. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, let's stop right there. Feedback. Who has some feedback for Alessandra? The bad first. <laughs> I think, I mean, I think you did a good job, Alessandra. I think this is something you have to get comfortable with. And the way you're going to get comfortable with it is just ask, you know, by role playing it and just keep asking that question. And again, I think Enrique is asking in a certain direction. And we got to be, I think, really direct asking that, like, what's important to you? You know, what's important to you, Enrique, while you're working with an agent? What's important to you during this home process, right? And just keep it really that simple, not adding all kinds of other fluff to it. Yeah. Anybody else? Any other feedback for Alessandra? So guys, your participation is needed. You got feedback for Alessandra. This is going to help her grow, right? What do you got? What's something you think she did good? What's something that you think you would have maybe added or tweaked? The other thing I like that you did, Alessandra, is when she, you asked her about, oh, you like to cook, you know, about the big kitchen. So I think that was definitely, you know, kind of building that rapport. I think you did a really good job with that. Yeah. I like how Alessandra set boundaries and let Jessica know how she communicates back. Yep. All good stuff. So yeah, I think um, I think it was just, I think you hit all the points, Alessandra. I think it was just a little, a little choppy because you're probably a little nervous and you just haven't practiced it enough. But even though, here's the thing. Here's what I want you guys to point out, to point out to you guys, right? Even though like we put her on the spot and maybe she hasn't practiced this, even if you don't do it like, I do it because I've done this a lot of times, but you still ask the questions. It's far more effective than you not ever asking that question at all. You get what I'm trying to say? So even if you mess it up, but you still get what's important from them and you still like you go through it, even if it was a little choppy, you now build more rapport with that client than if you never asked the question at all. So just because you don't have it mastered yet doesn't mean you shouldn't make the attempt and ask the question. That's what I want you guys to get at. And then as you do it more, then it'll come off smoother because now you kind of have it memorized and you've done it more times. And now it comes off a lot more confident, right? So there's no, nothing wrong with you just putting it out there, right? It's like when someone said last week, that analogy of just recording a video, like just record your shitty video, right? Even if the video sucks, your video that sucks is better than you not recording a video at all, right? Asking the question, even though it wasn't that smooth, is way better than you not asking the question. Uh, Jay, you had your hand raised. Yeah, so, so one thing I wanted to kind of just add is when, you, when we're practicing these techniques, I think it's important to do it in segments and now focus on the part that you're having the most difficult with. And it may just be asking that question. So you're going to want to ask that question maybe you know 20 times to different people on this panel. Right. Like, so, hey, Enrique, what's important to you when you're purchasing a property? Hey, Enrique, so what's important to you in regards to an agent? Right. And just kind of just saying it out loud multiple times, focusing on that 
so that when you are in your presentation, it kind of, all those pieces kind of come together, right? Because by now you probably already know the intro. We know the intro. So now we're just adding this other technique in there that we just need to focus on that a few times. Yep. Good advice. Uh, so Alessandra, let's practice that. So I want you to ask me again, what's important? Hey, Enrique, what's important to you uh, in this process and when you're buying a home? Hey, Enrique, what's important to you in this process and when you're buying a home? Okay, one more time. Hey, Enrique, what's important to you when, in this process and when you're buying a home? Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to say it, but don't rush through it and pause a little bit. So, hey, Enrique, what's important to you when buying your, your next home? Hey, Enrique, what's important to you when buying your home and in this process? Okay, now ask me, the next one is, hey, Enrique, what's it, so what's important to you when you work with an agent? What are you expecting from your agent? Also, what's important to you when working with an agent? What are you expecting from them? Okay, one more time. Also, what's important to you when working with an agent? What are you expecting from your agent? There, see, like each time you do it, it's getting smoother and smoother, right? The first time you did it with Jessica, you were trying to probably think about it and memorize it. Now you've done it a couple of times. Now it's coming off a lot smoother. So a big part of this, a big part of this working and being effective is not only memorizing, you know, the script or, or what to say, but also how you say it and how you emphasize certain words or are you pausing or are you speaking with authority? Do you sound confident or do you sound kind of scared, right? If I'm like, hey, Alessandra, uh, so what's important to you, you know, when working with an agent? That means like I'm already pull. You can see I'm pulling away. Like it seems like I'm a little nervous, right? You're gonna fall off your chair. Yeah, <laughs> off my chair. But if I'm like, "Hey, Alessandra," so before we get started, you know, I would really like to understand you a little bit more. You know, so one of the questions I always ask my clients it's, "What's important to you when buying your next home?" You know, what are you hoping to gain out of this process, and what's important to you? You you see how different that was than like. What's important to you? you know, <laughs> right? like, so part of it also, Alessandra, like I'm going to give you some criticism right now is you're kind of bundled up and you're kind of hunched over. Like if I want to be confident, I got to sit up. I got to speak with authority. I got to, I got to act like I've done this a thousand times and like, I'm a freaking professional. Right. So can you do that right now? Like sit up, Yes, let me turn off my AC. It's kind of cold in here. Camera, All right? <laughs> it's just me and you on this call. Don't worry about anybody else in the freaking room right now. I want to sit up. You know, if you're confident, you're usually up, your chest is up, you're speaking clearly, you're looking at me, right? Maybe your hands are moving a little bit, right? Because you're, you're putting your body language into it as well, you know? And you're going to say, hey, so Alessandra, you know, before we get started, you know, I have a question. What's important to you when buying your next home? What are some things that you want to make sure that we talk about in, our, in my presentation? All right, go for it. Hey, Enrique. So what's important to you about this process? Who felt the, anybody feel the confidence right there? Yes or no? Maybe. Okay. Hey, Enrique, what's important to you in this process and when buying a home? What would you like to talk about? All right, you see that? Like it's already, that was already like dramatically better. <laughs> it's probably because you got a little more excited and you, you know, you enunciated the first part of it a little bit more. But you see, guys, I, those of you guys watching, I want you to pay attention how much of a difference that makes when you speak a little louder, a little clearer. When you laugh or when you smile when you're talking, it does something a lot different, right? When you sit up, it does something a lot different as well, right? Your body language is going to transfer that, that energy. All right, one more time, Alessandra. So I want you to, hey, Enrique, pause. I want you to pause because now you're getting serious, right? Hey, Enrique, what's important to you in the agent that you choose to work with? Hey, Enrique, what's important to you and the agent you choose to work with? Wait, did she pause right there? She didn't pause. She's, you're trying to hurry up and finish. 
Yeah. Well, hey, Enrique, what's important to you and the agent you choose to work with? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Enrique. So hey, Enrique. <laughs> stop. Hey, Enrique, pause. Because now I'm like, oh, yeah, what, what are you about to say? You know? So, hey, Enrique, pause. What's important? And then slow down a little bit. What's important to you? Pause. In the agent that you choose to work with. Hey, Enrique, so what's important to you and the agent you choose to work with? That was better. That was better. You still didn't pause after the hey, Enrique. So, hey, Enrique, hey, pause. Hey, Enrique, pause, okay? Hey, Enrique, so what's important to you and the agent you choose to work with? Much better. Much better. Let's get, give it up for Alessandra. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So... Can you guys give me feedback of like, what can I work on? I, I just think you got to do it more. That's it. That's it. More reps, more, more, more practice. That's it. And again, guys, even for some of you guys that are newer on the, on the calls, what I would tell you guys to do and not, not just in this scenario, but you have to verbalize it. You have to say it. Right. So again, for a lot of the new people on this call, when you're making outbound calls, it's leaving that voicemail. It is leaving your intro. Hey, Thomas, this is Jason, the preferred broker with Zillow. Looks like a few months back, you inquired about a property. Just wanted to touch base with you. I have a list of discounted homes. Please give me a call back at 408-887-8600. Once you say that 20 times, you get that live person, you're no longer in shock. You've already said it. So this is something that, again, it kind of rolls over to this. This is just something you have to practice over and over again. Yep. So the feedback, Alessandra, like what Jason said, is keep practicing it. Because from the very first one you did with Jessica to right now, you've already improved dramatically. Do you, do you feel that you've improved just because you've done it a few times now? Yeah. What do you notice? Like what, what changed about your body language? My boys. And like you said, I'm not like <laughs> um, shy. And then I also, I get really nervous, but I just blocked everybody. And I thought it was just like you and me, like in the console. There you go, right? The very, the first couple of times you were more nervous. You were more like everyone's listening. Everyone's watching. I'm on the spot. Then by the third time, eh, who cares? I already, I'm, I, it's, it's all right. By the fourth time, eh, I'm not really thinking about that. By the fifth one, right? You're sitting up, you're speaking loud, you no longer care what everyone's thinking. And now you're able to just deliver it with a lot more, you know, effectiveness and, and, you know, pauses and all that stuff. So dramatically improved right there. Right. So if there's any feedback that we can give you is just keep practicing it and then pay attention to your body language, because when you're like, you know, bundled up and you're kind of slouched over naturally, you're like, you're not as loud. You're not as animated. But when you sit up and now you're just like, andale, vámonos, wait, right? Like you're, you're ready to go, right? Like you, you sound a lot better, more confident, and it just comes off, you know, you're going to deliver it a lot better to the client. Okay, so here's what we're going to do now. We got a couple minutes. I'm going to go through each person and you're going to say what's important to you from, you know, when buying a home and throughout this process, we're going to do that one. And then you're going to say what's important to you in the agent that you choose to work with going forward. That's it. And then you're going to move on to the next one. All right. Uh, Thomas Fang, let's go. Hey, Thomas. Hey, oh, no, wait. No, no. no it's go just, ahead. we're just, I'm just going to call on him. He's going to unmute. He's going to say it. And then I'm going to move to Dewey. And then I'm going to move to Maya. We're just going to go around the room. So no, no role play. It's just, I want to get them practicing saying it. Hey, Enrique, this is Thomas Fang. What's important to you when looking to purchase a home and also during this process. Okay. Hey, Enrique, this is Thomas. What are you looking for in the agent that you are considering to work with? Great. Excellent. Let's go. Dewey, you're up. Hi, Enrique. Um, what is important to you in this process of buying a home? And also, what is important to you in regard of your agent? Okay, try that one more time. This time, sit up, sit up, chest out, shake it off a little bit louder, a little bit more like, hey, Enrique, so what's important to you when buying this home and, and throughout this process? Okay. Hey, Enrique, um, what is important to you in this process of buying a home? And also, what is important to you in regard of your agent? Cool. A lot better. 
More energy. Miles, you're up, bro. Sit up. Remember, we're looking for body language too. Sit up. Speak loud and clear. Oh, yeah, I don't can't put your hands. Do me a favor. Don't your hands should not be resting on the desk. Your hands should be able to move. Good. Hey Enrique, this is Miles. Um, what's important to you uh, as far as um, no, I messed up. Start over. Start over. Go. Two minutes. Don't look there. <laughs> hey Enrique, this is Miles with PRG. Uh, what's important to you as far as your home buying process? Okay. Yeah. Next one. What's important to the agent that you choose to work with? Okay. Hey Enrique. So I want to ask, what's important to you as far as your agent? What do you expect from your agent in this process? Good. One more time. Do both of them moment this time. Don't you're kind of coming at an angle. I don't know if you're like going like this or something. Sit up straight. Let me see your hands, bro. Let me see your hands. Where are your hands at? That's worse for me. Sitting up straight like this is worse for me. <laughs> Go for it. You got it. Okay. Yeah. So hey Enrique, this is Miles. So I want to know what's important to you with this home buying process. Um What's the next one? Hey, Enrique, this is Miles. Uh, I'd like to ask, what's important to you as far as your agent? What do you expect from your agent during this whole, uh, this whole process? Cool. All right, a lot better. Let's go. Uh, Iris Garcia. Okay. Hi, Enrique. Tell me what is important to you when buying the home in this process. Uh, okay, I, I can't hear you. Did you unmute? Miles, mute yours, Miles. Unmute and then um, slow down a little bit, right? Okay, can you hear Emphasize me? Emphasize it. Yeah, I can hear you now. Emphasize okay. the words, right? Okay. Okay, Enrique, so tell me about what's important to you in this process. Oh, did she I... sound like, sure, or did she sound like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let me start all over again. Okay, Enrique, tell me what is important to you when buying the home in this process. Okay, I want you to slow down a little bit more, slow down. Remember, like, if you were just about to ask me, like, a deep question, mm -hmm. right? Like, like, hey, Enrique, who do you want to be when you grow up? Like, what, what is your goal in your whole entire life before you die? Like, I wouldn't say, like, hey, Enrique, what's your goal before you die, right? Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, okay. when okay. you slow down and you, like, you really, like, emphasize certain words, it's gonna sound a lot more important, right? So try again. Okay. Hi, Enrique. Tell me what is important to you when buying the home and this process. Okay, now tell me about the agent. <laughs> tell me what is important to you and your expectation. <laughs> Let me start all over again. Oh, tell me what's important to you and your expectations with your agent. All right, cool. Much better. Let's go. My, <laughs> my. I'm just going down the down the, the thing. Hi, Ricky. What's important to you in this buying process, and what's important to you in an agent that you choose to work from with? All right, one more time, one more time. But make sure, like, I want. Slow down and pause, right? Hey, Enrique, so tell me, what's yeah. important to you when buying a home? You see the pauses, like the pause? Hey, Enrique, so tell me, what's important to you when buying a home? Hey, Enrique, what's important to you when buying a home? And hey, Enrique, what's important to you in an agent when you choose, wait, sorry. Hey, Enrique, what's important to you in an agent that you choose to work with? All right, cool. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's go. Uh, Jake, are you there? Lauren, let's go, Lauren. Hey, Enrique. So tell me, what's important to you during this buying home buying process? And what's important to you about the agent that you decide to work with? That was good, really good. Blanca, let's go. Hi, Enrique. What's important for you in the home buying process? And also, what's important for you when selecting an agent? All right. We already know she's a veteran. Uh, Brenda, let's go. Hey, Enrique. How are you? I'm good. Good. I'd like to know what's important to you in this home buying process and what's important to you 
um, when you're choosing an agent. Okay, I'm gonna try that one more time. It was, it sounded good, but I want you to like be a little, maybe a little more serious, right? Like lean in a little bit, it's a little more serious question. Like, you know, you really want me to open up to you. So one more time. Hey Enrique, this is Brenda. I just wanted to know what's important to you in your home buying process and what you look for in an agent. Excellent, all right, a lot better, a lot better. Let's go Teddy, Teddy. Hey Enrique, what is important to you in the home buying process and what are you expecting in the agent you want to work with? That was good. Good. Solid, solid. Uh, only feedback, Teddy, is a little more energy, right? Maybe a little bit more energy. Some of you guys are already loud naturally and some of you guys are lower naturally. So some people need to like bring it down and some people need to turn it up. It's just everyone's different, right? So, so Teddy, a little more energy, bro. Like a little more energy. Like, hey Enrique, so tell me. What's important to you when buying a home? Hey, Enrique, what is important to you in this home buying process? And what are you expecting in the agent you want to work with? Cool. A lot better. A lot better. Let's go, Manny. Hey, what's going on, Enrique? All right. So um, what's important to you, Enrique, about buying your next home? And number two, what's important to you? What's important about choosing your next real estate agent? Okay, try that one more time. Yeah. Hey, Enrique, let me ask you a question. What's important to you about buying your next home? And then two, what's uh, what's important to you about working with or choosing your next agent. Okay, so Manny, the advice I'm gonna give you is, is say it in your own words. Like it doesn't have, you don't have to read off the script. You're basically gonna know what's important to you when buying, what's important to you from your agent. Maybe just don't read the script, just say what comes naturally, however you wanna phrase that. And just try looking at the camera and, say, and saying, it. like you're actually looking at me, like we're talking. Okay, so Enrique, what's important to you about choosing your next home? Or let him back up. What's important to you about purchasing your next house? And uh, number two is uh, what's important to you about choosing your next real estate agent? Cool. A lot better. A lot better. Yeah. Mike, let's go, Mike. Enrique. Enrique. What's important to you in this home buying process? And what is important to you and the agent that you work with? Cool, that was good. All right, let's go, Jessica. Hi, Enrique. What is important to you in this home buying process? And what are you expecting from an agent you'll be working with? There you go, let's go, I like that. Irish Chung, let's go. Hey, Enrique, before we get started, let me ask you a question. What's important to you when buying homes and throughout this process? Tell me what's important to you when working with an agent. What are you expecting from them? Woo, that was good. Let's give it up. I like that. What I like that she did on her own is she said, hey, before we get started, by her adding that before we get started, it already like set the stage for like, let me show you my question, right? She just did that naturally. Like, hey, Enrique, before we get started, Tell me what's important to you, right? And then what's important to you from the agent you choose to work with? Very, very good job, Iris. Awesome. Uh, Carla, are you there? I am here. Let's go. Give it to me. Hey, Enrique, out of curiosity, what is the most important thing to you when you're buying a home? Also, what is the most important quality in the agent that you hire? Ooh, I like that. Professional. It's no wonder she's closing a bunch of deals. All right, Jenny, let's go. Hey, Enrique, great being on this call with you. Before we get started, tell me, what is important to you in this home buying process? Now, Enrique, what is important to you? What are your expectations of an agent when working with an agent? Which one? Perfect. I like that. All right, guys. I think that was everyone, right? Was there was anyone that didn't go? Jason, you tell me now. Your turn. You're on the spot, bro. 
Hey, Enrique, it's awesome. You're taking this first choice to start looking at some property. Before we get started, I just kind of want to understand, what are your expectations when purchasing a property? Hey, Enrique, so again, you know, when you're looking to choose an agent, I just kind of want to get an idea of what is your expectation from the agent that you choose? There we go. He said it in his own words. It's obviously done it a lot of times. Let's give a round of applause for everybody. Everybody who participated. I know I put a lot of you guys on the spot, but... Hopefully today you guys took away seeing each and every person doing, doing it. And then you can see the differences, right? There's some people where they need a little more energy. Some people need to stand up. Some people, you can tell they've already practiced this. or Maybe they've, you know, spoken to clients in another job or something. And you also saw like with Alessandra, like just by her doing it multiple times, it dramatically improved, right? Because now she was conscious of her energy, speaking louder, stuff like that. And then she, the nerves kind of wore off and now she was able to just, you know, be natural. So uh, really appreciate you guys showing up today, guys. This is the stuff right here that makes you better, right? Remember, this is just the beginning, right? This is to get you guys understanding the habits that you got to form, but you got to go out there and continue to practice this, right? Practice it with each other, practice it in the mirror, record yourself on your phone, because the only way you're going to get good is by just doing it over and over. The reason why I can just jump on here and do these trainings is because I've done this a thousand times, guys. That's why, right? I was not this confident and this good when I first started. But now it's just repetition, right? It's just like anything. And you, you see it from some of the agents who are more seasoned on our call, like that have met with a lot of clients. Like it's just, it's the repetition that, that comes into play, right? Are there any last minute questions or anything uh, before we go? All right, guys. Good job Don't today. Take it real quick. We just yeah. closed uh, 6.3 million Zillow Flex. Z how? Job, guys. 6.3 million. 6.3 million dollar cash deal from Zillow Flex. Answer your phone. Zillow Flex is handing out deals. Answer your phone and ask the client what's important to you when buying a home. Remember, you can use that when you talk to people at an open house. You can use that when you talk to them on the console, over the phone, when you're trying to book the appointment. Right? Real quick. If I'm trying to book an appointment and I start asking what's important, then I say, hey, you know what? When we meet on our appointment, I'm going to go over the timeline that you're looking for. I'm going to go over how to get the best deal because I know that's important to you. I'm also going to go over, you know, what we do to, you know, help clients win, you know, and save time and money and all that stuff, right? So I'll be able to talk about those points that were important to you when we meet. This is why we got to meet tomorrow. Are you open at two or four, right? So I can use that on my calls, my open houses, my showings when we're building rapport and I'm talking to them. I can use that in my, my consultations with a buyer or a seller because you can ask that same question to a seller who's looking to sell, right? Universal, but it breaks, it breaks the ice, it builds rapport, and it immediately allows you to connect and build credibility with that client. All right, guys, that's all I got. Hope you have a great day. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. Let's go.